Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In the last class, we studied the class diagram and now we will study the state transition diagram. So let's start. State transition diagram describes different states of a component in a system. So in a, in a software, we have different components and each component attains some state after some event or some activity, right? So this diagram describes those states. The states are specific to a component object of a system. State machine can be defined as a machine which defines different states of an object and these states are controlled by external or internal event. For example, if I click something, if I turn on a machine, so in fact, the machine goes into another state. The software goes into another state, right? So state transition diagram describes all of the states that an object can have, the events under which an object changes the state transition, the conditions that must be fulfilled before the transition will occur, guard, and, and the activities undertaken during the life of an object actions. So, state transition diagrams are very useful for describing the behavior of individual objects over the full set of use cases that affect those objects. State transition diagrams are not useful for describing the collaboration between objects that causes the transition. So the purpose to describe different states that a component achieves. What event or condition triggers the change of state to show the behavior of a system? So let's start with the symbols or the notation. So the first is the initial state or from where we start. We use a black built circle that represents the initial state of a system or a class. Then we have transition. We use a solid arrow to represent the transition or change of control from one state to another. The arrow is labeled with the event which causes the change in state. So here this is the arrow and this line has the event name and it describes from which state to which state we are going, right? So this is the state, this rectangular object is showing us the uh, state. We use a rounded rectangle to represent a state. A state represents the condition or circumstances of an object of a class at an instance of time. Final state. In fact, this is another symbol that is used for the final state. We use a filled circle within a circle notation to represent the final state in a state machine diagram. So now if I just take a flashback start show the state, state then an arrow that shows in fact how the state changes on and on the basis of which event is changed and then the final state now this is the diagram we can see that it is a diagram of state machine of an atm so if i say that this is start right and this is end all these are states of that machine and in fact these arrows are telling us different actions or events that are going to change the state so now at the start our machine or atm machine was off so when we turn it on when we turn it on it goes into another state that is self test state so it test itself if it is okay that we test it it it, it tested it itself and it finds everything okay so now it will move to another state from the self test to the idle state so now it is waiting for a customer or a user so that when he comes he will use it when it is in i we will study these parts later on but here when it is in idle state or in wait state here it can move back when we turn it off it can go into the off state and if a person comes and he inserts the card so now look card inserted he inserted the card 
and this portion is again telling us the sub part of the system the transaction how the machine will serve so now over here we can find out when the card is inserted it reads the card or if the card is okay and uh, you inserted the right card so it will accept it and it will read it otherwise if you press exit or card is ejected you will cancel so you will get back the card and it will again go into the idle state so this is the one uh, transition from the idle to the transaction and from the transaction to the idle again when we cancel it now let's say we inserted the right card we entered and we get, we uh, enter we, we inserted the right card and now it went for the customer authentication it authenticated then next we selected the transaction either i want to withdraw the money i want to transfer the money or i want to pay a bill whatever so i selected the transaction and then the transaction was done and look this is the final state final state means over here i am done right and it will again go back to look here into the idle state and it will be waiting for another transaction or another customer to start the transaction so now this is the whole part that we have studied and now here if it is an idle state and it goes into the service state we want to service the machine so when we turn it into the service state it goes into the maintenance state. for the service event we, we bring it into the maintenance state and now from the maintenance that means we will have to turn it on after maintaining and then it will again self test itself from here it will go into the idle and it, they will keep on moving and if we want to maintain it and we could not maintain it there will occur another event that is known as failure so from the failure it will go out of service normally it shows us that this machine is not working right so it is in the state out of service once it is serviced it will again go into the maintenance then self test then idle so it will work but if it is out of service for example then we will turn it off so if we turn off that machine that is out of service it will go into another state turn off or shut down it will go into another state that is off state, right and if for example it is out of service and we try to service and we go into the maintenance so this is again we have studied that so now if i say that from off turned on self test and during the self test there was some problem in the machine so it was a failure for the self test so when it is a failure event we go into the state out of service again then we service it if it comes back and maintained so the state will be maintained if it cannot be then we will turn off or shut down so this is a diagram that very clearly describes the transition in the state of an atm machine right so in this manner this is a I, it, it it seems like a complex diagram but as i told you we take one path at a time of self test idle start the transaction transaction done or cancel again idle or transaction done again idle during the tar transaction there is a failure out of service so this part is complete so again if in the idle state it goes into the maintenance state then it again goes into the self test and from the maintenance state it go it can go into the out of service state due to the failure we could not maintain and out of the service we can go to the turn off or shut down so in this manner when we take one path at a time we can understand the state or states very easily so your homework or student activity is draw a state transition diagram for your class project so now you will have to look at different states your software is going to take and then you will have to draw state transition diagram and submit it in the next class thank you very much assalamu alaikum